What's up, nerds? So, again, it's that time of year again where we do our top 10 lists and everything, us YouTubers and social media people. But I just want to say I'm coming at you. These are the top 10 best animated movies of the year and the five worst animated movies of the year. And I'm going to go through. Now, I just want to say that real quick, if these are not your choices, hey, no worries. Just tell me what you think are the best animated movies and the worst animated movies of 2023. You don't have to, you know, like what I like and dislike what I like. You like what you like and you dislike what you like. But these are, this is my list. I'm going to do the five worst animated movies of 2023 before I get started on the best animated movies of 2023. So coming in at number five for the worst animated movies of the year, year is Merry Little Batman. I know, I know. Now listen, Merry Little Batman, despite its festive theme, fails to deliver the holiday cheer, lacking the charm and wit expected from a Batman-inspired animated feature. It's not that I didn't like this movie, it's just I didn't like the animation style that they did, and the story that they had was just very by-the-numbers kind of thing, you know? It just wasn't the best, and I didn't I didn't care for it overall. It just wasn't that great. Like, uh, the story was fine, but the animation just didn't do it for me. So then coming in at number four of the worst animated movies of 2023 is Mummies. That's right. Mummies struggles to unwrap an engaging story, feeling more like a forgettable animated adventure than a thrilling ride. So coming in at number three of the worst animated movies of 2023 is Nimona. I bet I pissed off some of you with this one. Despite high expectations, disappointments with its rush narrative, and a failure to capture the essence of the beloved graphic novel, this movie straight up sucks. I mean, it's very progressive in its storytelling, and I know a lot of people are be like, mm, but there's LGBTQ plus representation, which is fine in your animated movies, but this one was just horrible, and I didn't like it, not one bit. I really didn't care for the animation style either. I just didn't like it all the way around. After I got done watching it, I was like, well, there is an animated movie I never have to watch again because I'm not interested. All right, so coming in at number two of the worst animated movies of 2023 is Mavka, the forest song. Listen, this is a Ukrainian animated movie, and I know we're supposed to have sympathy for Ukraine, but not for their animation division, because I'll tell you right now, Mavka stumbles in its attempt to recreate a magical world, falling flat with a confusing plot and a lack of emotional depth. This movie is boring. When I saw the trailer, I was like, that looks interesting. But while watching the movie, I was like, this is not interesting. I don't like it at all. The animation is pretty good as far as that goes. But like the story is just so like, I was just like, oh my gosh, can we rush this along? It was, it was really boring. And I don't understand how anybody could like this movie. I mean, maybe if it was like an hour less, maybe, but it was just, it was, it just dragged, I'll tell you that right now. But again, the animation was pretty good. All right, you guys, again, I'm gonna upset some of you, but coming in at number one of the worst animated movies of 2023 is Wish. Man, Wish fails to grant any wishes with its lackluster storytelling and forgettable characters, leaving audiences wanting more. There, I get from what I understand, there was a lot of, of trouble behind the scenes, and this had a completely different storyline. And I understand that this was the 100th year of Disney, and they tried to culminate it by putting in all these Easter eggs and stuff in this thing. But having the main character become the fairy godmother, and then the bad guy becoming the mirror from Snow White, I just didn't like it. I was, I thought the movie sucked. The songs were so not memorable, and I didn't care for them. And then the characters were just boring as shit. I didn't, the only one I liked was the goat. I liked when he was all like, a nice mahogany. And then he's like, she's like, you found it. And he's like, my butt found it or whatever. I can't remember. And the star was pretty cute. But other than that, this movie just sucked. I mean, I wish they hadn't made this movie. So that's the number one. It's a bummer when animated films miss the mark. But here's hoping for a captivating stories in the future. So that is my list of worst movies of the year. So now we're going to hop over to my top 10 animated movies of the year. Coming in at number 10 is Under the Boardwalk. Now, Under the Boardwalk is a charming and heartwarming story that captures the essence of friendship and summer adventures. And... The animation style was pretty decent. I liked that. I did like the story, you know, you've got the sea crabs and then the beach crabs and everything. And I like this Jersey Shore atmosphere going on. I thought it was pretty cute and charming, even though the story isn't like overwhelmingly inspiring. 
Coming in at number nine is Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. Now, this movie introduces a unique and endearing protagonist in a sea of animated features, but I thought that this movie was really fun. I liked this whole thought of the Krakens are the actual, you know, superheroes of the sea and that mermaids are really the devil. But I, I just thought it was great, and I, my, my, my kids liked it. My daughter liked it. She really wanted to see it. We didn't see it in theaters, and she really wanted to. But I believe it was between this and Trolls. I can't remember off the top of my forehead. But, you know, I really liked it. I thought it was it was fun. I thought the animation was good. Again, I love that the mermaids were the bad guys in this. I always love the villains usually in movies, and I did like the mermaid villain. I thought she was great. But, again... This movie, it was good, and it made my top 10. And coming in at number 8 is The Magician's Elephant. Man, this movie enchants with its magical narrative and its breathtaking animation. I really enjoyed this movie. First off, elephants are my favorite animal. Second off, I really liked it. I thought it had a great story. It was so heartwarming and heartfelt. And I just, the whole time watching it, I was just like, this is such a good movie. And I really liked it a lot. I definitely am going to watch it again and can't wait to watch it again. It's, it's really, really good. And I think if you haven't watched it yet, stop what you're doing and go watch The Magician's Elephant. So coming in at number seven is Babylon 5, The Road Home. Home. Now, I just want to say Babylon 5, The Road Home, dives into the sci-fi universe with compelling storytelling and intricate world building. I have to also say that I didn't, the animation isn't my favorite, and some of the voice actors from the original cast have passed away, so they couldn't do their voices, which was, in my opinion, bad. It would have been nice to have heard those iconic voices in their animated feature. But I did enjoy this movie, but it's very inside baseball. If you do not watch Babylon 5 or never watch Babylon 5, you will not get the references here. Plus, I have to say also that this is not made for little kids. The shadows definitely scared my daughter, and I don't think that it, if you are you have smaller children like I do, they should watch this movie. But if you're an adult or older kid, uh, this movie, and you love Babylon 5, this movie is, is definitely for you. Um, I did enjoy it, and I'm glad it wasn't full of, you know, the woke nonsense that we get these days and the messaging. But it was just... It was just a good time with Babylon 5. I really liked it. All right, you guys. So coming in at number six is Elemental. Elemental is visually stunning and emotionally resonant tale that showcases the power of nature. I have to say, I really enjoyed this. It was it was a meet cute kind of love story that I really enjoyed. And it showed that opposites can attract. I also thought the voice acting was great. Uh, the Elemental City did remind me a lot of Zootopia, which I was like, eh, you know, you guys need to stop doing that. But at the same time, I really loved it. Um, I, I kind of want a sequel. What elements can we add in here? You know, even though the director, he said that Avatar The Last Airbender was not an inspiration, but it's like, mm, mm, sister, thou art being honest with thyself. I, I just really liked this movie, and I, I, I'm like, what elements can we add in here? Can we add in metal? You know, can we add in, what what other, what can we do here? And I think that I think that if they do make a sequel, I don't see a sequel happening, but if they do, I'd, I'd really be interested to see where they could take this story. Tell me, what was your favorite element in that movie? All right, you guys, so coming in at number five is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I'll tell you what, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem brings the pizza-loving heroes back with a bang, offering a nostalgic ride with a fresh twist. Now, I understand that April O'Neil, they did uh, race bend her, which I was fine with. The one thing I wasn't fine with was that they made her a homely frumpy girl that's all fat and everything, and and uh, I didn't like that. Uh, you know, April O'Neil could, you know, she could be a little little honeypot, if you ask me. I don't know how I feel about the animation style on this. I know they do this a lot with the Spider-Verse, and they did it with Puss in Boots, too, but I have to say, the only anime a movie that I really like this animation style with is with the Spider-Verse. Other movies, I'm all like, I could leave it. I also really liked the villain in this, the Superfly. He was great. He made me laugh a lot. This movie made me laugh a lot. I thought I would hate it from the get-go, but after watching it, I actually enjoyed it. It was, pre it was a pretty good time. Coming in at number four of the best animated movies of 2023 is Paw Patrol, The Mighty Movie. I just have to tell you right now, The Mighty Movie is a pawsome adventure that will have both kids and adults on the edge of their seats. I love this movie. I don't like Liberty the dog. I don't like her at all. They got rid of Everest and they put Liberty in here and I just go, Liberty, Liberty, no, thank you. 
Uh, she just annoys me. I hate that dog. But I love seeing the Paw Patrol with superpowers. And I understand this is Sky's story and it's very female centric, but I still liked it. The first movie was about Chase. So it was, you know, he was the main, you know, pup that we had focused on. So I can't wait to see going into the future which pup we focus on next. Uh, again, I liked this movie. I liked that the pups got superpowers. That was really fun. I don't want them to have superpowers every movie. I just felt, I just honestly feel like with with their superpowers, they, they really can't be beat. And I want to see some kind of possibility of them being beat but not giving a villain superpowers again you know what i'm saying but yeah this movie was great and i loved it who is your favorite paw patrol for me it's rocky love rocky all right you guys so we're down to the top three animated movies of 2023 in my opinion and coming in at number three for me is Trolls Band Together. That's right. Trolls 3 is a musical extravaganza that hits all the right notes, delivering infectious tunes and a feel-good storyline. I love the villains in this one. Their, their song, Gotta Work Harder, I believe the name of the song is. I love that song. That's my favorite song in the entire movie. But I just love this movie. I thought it was great. I didn't like um uh, the sister, Viva, I believe her name is. I didn't like that character. But at the same time, it was so good because it was band boy nostalgic and I love all those band boys. In sync in the house. Just love it. All right, you guys, coming in at number two is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. That's right. Across the Spider-Verse swings into action with a stunning visuals and a mind-bending narrative that takes the Spider-Verse into new heights. Also, they started this animation style that I actually really do like in the context of this movie. I feel like it really adds to the narrative of the multiverse, and I really like that. Other than this movie, I really don't like this style of animation. I really feel like it's just not... It doesn't work well in other movies, I think, but I think here it works cohesively because you have different styles of comic books and you have this multiverse that I think it really works well. Plus the the combination of live action that we get in there when Donald Glover came in and I just really loved that. I just loved this movie. The only thing I didn't like about it is it was a little too long personally. You know, I got I took my kids, I took my small kids to the movie theater to see this and I would have to say cut out about 40 minutes of this cuz they were just like ready to go by the end. And I also did not like the 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 ending like it's a two-part movie. I just I just didn't like that uh, I don't like that going on in movies in the future I just feel like it should be one standalone movie but at the same time it was really good and that ending was just so good I just loved it and I love the way that it kind of like connected together with that first movie it was it was it was so it's, it's a really good movie all right you guys coming in at number one for the best animated movie of 2023 in my opinion is the Super Mario Brothers movie. That's right, Super Mario Brothers is a delightful journey into the Mushroom Kingdom, capturing the essence of the beloved game with humor and heart. I understand some people didn't like this movie because they felt like it didn't really add anything to the storyline and it wasn't, you know, you know, complex. But that's the thing. It captured the game perfectly, in my opinion. And I loved every minute of it. I laughed. I got a little teary-eyed, not cried. But this movie was just so good. I just loved it. And, and I took my family to the movie theater to see it. And it was just so good watching it on the big screen. And yeah, I loved it. And I think that if you haven't bought it yet, go do it because it's so good. All right, you guys, that is my top 10 best and five worst animated movies of 2023. Tell me, what did you guys think about my list? Which movie didn't make it onto my best list, but made it onto my worst list that you wish it was vice versa? Or which movie should have gone on the worst list and not the best list? Any combination of the of, of stuff you want to do, tell me all about it in the, in the section down below. And tell me, what was your top 10 best and worst animated movies of 2023? Uh, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like. But you know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next video. You guys have a good new year. Bye.